to 3D Radio 93.7 FM, online or digitally, however you're doing it. It's a pleasure to have your company, as we do, as we always do on a Wednesday evening. We go live from Studio 3. It's a special treat this week because joining us is Ricky Albeck and the Belair Line Band. Thanks for coming in. What's up? Yeah, not much. Um, uh, we figured the best way to probably kick this off would be if, Ricky, you could give us a little rundown and introduction of all these lovely band members that you have joining us here this evening. More complicated than it may seem. Uh huh. Um, on bass, we have the lovely George Thalassoudis. Woo! AKA Dick Wanko. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Spall on the fiddle. Kaylin <laughs> uh, Johnson on the lead guitar. <laughs> Jess Jones on the vocals and acoustic guitar. Hello. And Harry Freeman on the drums, a.k.a. Colby Robertson. Snake Danger. Terrific. Ooh. We're going to be Snake getting... Snake Danger. <laughs> We're going to be going all the way through till 9pm. We're going to get you guys to play a whole bunch of songs. At some stage, we'll jump in and ask you a little bit about what's been going on in your world. But firstly, what would you like to kick us off with this evening? We're going to kick off with a song called Hands. And... Um, uh, this is the one that George starts. Yeah, uh... Harry's not our regular drummer, so he's learning the songs on the fly. He has played them before. Yeah. 
everything to stop. Listening in live from Studio 3, Ricky Olbeck and the Blair Line Band are playing for you live until 9 p.m. The first thing and maybe the most important thing that I wanted to ask you about was a little bit earlier on in the year, you played a fairly major racing sporting event. And that led me to want to ask if you got your eye on any future and further sporting events to play. And what would you pick if you could? <laughs> um, <laughs> Did you say Recklink? <coughs> uh, yeah, but that, that would be great. Is that, is that actually happening? Uh, I was more thinking the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's a goal of mine. <laughs> That'd be big. And when you play that, you have to bring in a collaborator as well. So if you could bring in a collaborator on board to kind of, uh, you know, chuck in a little bit of life, not that there wouldn't be heaps, who Becky would you pick? Cole. We just had Meatloaf, yeah, meatloaf. meatloaf and yeah. Becky yeah. Cole as well. So yeah, Probably that'd Meatloaf. Be <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mum might be listening. <laughs> Brilliant. I'd tune in for that. As mentioned before, Ricky Orbeck and the Blair Line Band are going to be playing songs for us. What kind of song would you like to jump into next? Um, I reckon next we're going to do... Uh, next we're going to do Lovely Bones, which is on an EP that we released last year. <laughs> Stay with me, baby I don't want you to go, my lovely bones But I don't want you to be with me, baby I don't know what I want, my lovely bones Do you think you can figure it out? Go swimming, I say, right? And the skin's going out of the way, afraid to be. And I'm gonna see those lovely bones. I'm gonna see those lovely And oh so late Like it when you are gone And oh so late Maybe we can just ease it up a touch I don't know what I want I don't know what I want I don't love you at all, my lovely bone. And if you go swimming in the acid rain, then your skin's gonna melt away. Fade to gray. And I'm gonna see those lovely bones. I'm gonna see those lovely bones. Yeah, I'm gonna see those lovely bones I'm gonna see those lovely bones
yeah, tuned in live from Studio 3, so I wasn't sure if I should jump in there, but uh, yeah, you're listening into the live program. I've seen you guys have played a lot of really fantastic gigs, supports, your own shows, all that type of thing across the course of the year, and you've got a lot coming up, which we'll get to maybe in a couple of songs' time, but I wanted to ask you, what has been probably your favourite gig, if you could pick one, over the course of this year? Because there's, there's been quite a few. Oh, yeah, there's, there's been a lot. Um, uh, it was really fun. Uh, playing in Jamestown with Maribu Band, which we're doing again in a couple of weeks. Yep. Um, next week. What's the, what's, what's, what's the vibe like when you go out, go out that far um, and um, play those, those rural shows? Well, it's fun because it's only like three hours, so it's easy in your home next day. And um, yeah, you just sort of drive out and get uh, some free beer, free yep. accommodation. It's good fun. <laughs> Did you check out the big battery while you were there? No. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Maybe this time. Yeah. There is a Tesla charger there. Though. There is a Tesla oh, charger yeah, there, the says back. George. At the pub. At the pub. Okay. Never been used. Is that right? Fuck. Never been used. Yeah. It's never been used. Okay. <laughs> well, if anyone's listening in from Tesla, um, you know, see what we can do. Uh, yeah. You're listening to 3D Radio. Let's jump into another song. Actually. Actually. Funny yeah. story about Tesla and the Blair Line Band. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a guy at my work, the Hotel Metro, um, expressed his interest in the Blair Line Band. He said he stumbled across us on Facebook and it was really cool. And then I signed him up for the Metro Mates uh, thing and mm -hmm. I said, what was your email? And he said, tesla at adelaide.co. Interesting. So he is Tesla. Wow. And he likes tesla. the Blair Line Band. Tesla likes the Blair Line Band. Official sponsor. And this <laughs> next song... <laughs> <laughs> is called Tesla I love you <laughs> what's it actually called yeah what's it actually called Rick uh, industrial lights <laughs> It gets cold in my room in the winter Even when the sun shines I've only got one small window And in the summer it's warm And I've got so much going on That I can't take like any friends It's alright It's okay The design I'm thinking about Installing industrial lights Damn right Industrial lights I'm 18 but I'm still afraid of the dark When it's cold and it's dark and I'm alone And I got nothing going on Yeah, watch the TV screen Cause the TV keeps me company it's alright, it's okay, yeah, cause I'm thinking about installing industrial lights, damn bright, industrial lights, next week I'm gonna install industrial lights in my room, damn bright, industrial lights.
back. You're listening in to 3D Radio, Ricky Elbeck and the Blair Lion Band. We talked a little bit about that Jamestown gig before, so let's get a rundown of what's coming up in the future. I know you're playing a whole stack of festivals. Do you want to give the people at home a chance to uh, get along and catch you live in action? Um, we are definitely playing a couple of festivals. Um, so you got Scouted? That's, that's coming scouted, up pretty yeah, soon. Scouted, yeah, that's right. Scouted is coming up. That's a, actually a, um, that's a great gig. What about yeah. some it's all Sorry? Beer? Oh, uh, yeah, Beer and Barbecue <laughs> is actually the first one. Okay. Just me and Jess are playing that one. And when's that taking place? Um, that's July 14th, so next week. Cool. Is it? Uh, is two it weeks. Two weeks. Work? Yeah. 14th. <laughs> oh. 14th, yeah. Yeah, nice. Good excuse to get some barbecue and beer yep. and bands all in one. And yep. Fest. And well, then you've got Scouted, you've got Dave Clarity as well. Yeah, Dave Clarity is going to be fantastic. And a little bit further in the future, you've also got, which just got announced yesterday morning, which is the Feel Good Festival yeah, as that's well, which is going to be a ripper. I'm really excited for Feel Good. Um, Excellent. So, yeah, if you're listening in, you've got, you got no excuse, really. You're just going to have to see him live. Feel Good is, um, uh, it's grown a lot. <laughs> yep. And it's only, it's only happened once, but... It's grown a lot in the off time of it not happening <laughs> since <laughs> it last happened. It's going to be taken. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's a secret gig by the sounds. But, no, if you want to do check it out, it's, uh, it's at Inman Valley, Alma's Hen. Um, you can go check that out. Tickets are on sale. Stack of good acts. Yeah. It's, you're a mysterious man, Ricky. I'm trying, to, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get something here. Come on, like, work with me. No, just kidding. I love you. Thanks for coming in, guys. You sounded really, really great. And uh, we're going to hear... Uh, you know, what, what else are we going to hear from Yeah, you? we're going to hear another song now uh, <laughs> called That's How I Want to Be. And we've just recorded this one. He's got a smile like brush in your teeth He likes a strut when he's walking on down the street Spent his whole life talking about how he's gonna be Still killing it when he's pushing on 103 That's how I That's how I want to be Wrinkles on his face, wrinkles on his hands Comes home late and he can barely stand His bones are aching and the shit has hit the fan no job, heaps of rent, no money, and he spent. That's how I want to be. That's how I to shake him down, come and shake me down, and I won't cry until I hit the ground, there's something about the way you can't be 
they found But still you managed to find your way around That's how You're listening in live from the Studio 3. I nearly jumped in about four times there. <laughs> I like it. It's suspenseful. Ricky Wilbeck and the Belair Line Band playing for us. What was the name of the song for people playing along at home? That's How I Want to Be. Very cool. It's a lovely song. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different now because sitting right beside me is a man known as Jason Casares, who I know shares a band with Jess called Dead Brew and probably countless of you always keep track about who's been in whose band. So I'm actually going to chuck over to him for a bit of a guest interview spot. Jason, take and it away. this next song is cool. <laughs> <laughs> G'day, Ricky. How you going? You well, mate? Not bad. Yeah? Not bad? Uh, <coughs> what's the next song that you're going to play for us today? Uh, next song is a bit of a special one. We're going to do... Um, a Jess Johns is going to sing the song. Oh, really? Yeah. Like a Jess John's original? No, no. no. <coughs> okay. <coughs> this is news to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, haven't actually asked Jess yet, but. Oh yeah. Um, Which ask one? me something else, Jason. While they discuss. Okay. Uh, how's the uh, How's your van going? Uh, for listeners at home, Ricky drives a, a van that has been struggling through the past few months. <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> couldn't tell you what the number plate is, Kaylin. Uh, uh, that's F. <laughs> Five, seven, six. That's it's not my mouth. No. Ricky's, Ricky's van's got a hole in the side. A, <laughs> what is it? A cracked radiator, petrol leak. No, diesel leak. Oil leak. Oil leak. <laughs> few few years worth of uh, energy drink cans in the back. So uh, that's uh, that's good for listeners to know that. All right, guys. Anyway, we're going to do Crazy by Patsy Klein, and Jess is going to sing it. Fantastic. <coughs> well, for listeners at home, this is Jess Johns. Um, well, we, well, I think we should do it in the key that we played it live. Even Absolutely. Though that was the live. No, we should. I live agree. radio, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, I think that was B. You want to tell us about Dead Road, Jason? <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm the interviewer in this situation, Ricky, and as much as I'd love to talk about my own band... Yeah, it was in B. It was in B. <laughs> it's really all Belair Line band right now. I don't know. I'm, I'm no expert. You, you just sing? Yeah, I'll sing. I'll just right. sing. Um, this is the Jess Johns band, everybody. <laughs> 3D Radio. The turnaround. Yep. Crazy, I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. 
love me as long as you want to And then someday you leave me for somebody new Would we Thank you, Jess Jones. Thank you, Ricky Oldbeck. You're live on 3D Radio. <laughs> no, we're live on 3D Radio. <laughs> You're listening to 3D Radio. <coughs> uh, yeah, we're going to play another song <coughs> against the wall. <laughs> Yeah. 
Studio 3, Rick Ilbeck and the Belair Line Band playing songs for you. Big shout out to Jason as well for giving us a bit of an inside scoop. We're going to be catching more of those because he's been doing Mystery Train and is going to soon be gracing our airwaves with all of those uh, insider secrets from now on in. Um, I want to ask you a little bit about, you put out the Lovely Bone single and a couple of songs uh, alongside that. Where did you record this and who with? Um, that one we just recorded up at my mum's place uh, in my bedroom with Tom Matheson, yep. who played in a band called Siamese. Rest in peace, yep. Siamese. Great yep. band. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go there. Um, uh, how about when you're <laughs> recording? Uh, what, what, what's, what's your process like? Because it can take, uh, it might not have taken that long for you guys, but what do you do around the recording to keep yourselves all stimulated? Uh... uh a few mild ales. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a few mild ales. Yep. Um, plenty of breaks. <laughs> sure. Resting. <laughs> Minimal sure recording. <laughs> Sweet. So that's the secret. Yes. Yeah. Do as little as you can. Um, yeah. But uh, I guess we're doing the opposite today because we're getting a whole heap of music just streamed live to all the people listening in. Yeah. So uh, it's actually a special treat. With that, um, with that, with those three songs, me and Tom weren't really too close at the time. We'd hung out at the pub and stuff. So we were very efficient when we were recording together. <laughs> yeah, because there wasn't much banter going on in yeah, between. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now maybe that would be the secret that you would offer to people is to make sure you record <laughs> with someone that you don't have a lot of chemistry with Yeah, yet. record with someone that you hate. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tom Matheson, so yeah. it makes it hard. Yeah, he's a good guy. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming in. What is going to be the next song that you're going to hit us with? Um, <laughs> next song... Anyone? Improvised jam, oh, maybe. Yeah. Ricky, can we do Come Home? Uh, how, mu- how much time have we got? Uh, it is currently 35 past, 36 yeah, past. Yeah, we can do Come Home. Come home we can do Come Home. This song's off of the EP that we were just talking about. Great. You'll and then we'll do another one after that from the next EP, which you will see early next year. Great. Let's go back to back. You're live from Studio 3. Yeah, rolling the whole time. We're rolling. <laughs> um, shall I kick it off? Yes, go on. Tomorrow, I want to be ready to go. I want to be ready when I get out of bed. I want to be ready when you fuck with my head. I want to stay home and go out. I want to drink a little wine. I want to smoke my cigarette. And I want you to love me. Oh. I want to greet death with a smile 
Don't want to go out with a bang I want to be asleep in bed if I can Oh, come on Flashing, flashing red light. We're trying to figure out what the flashing red light was. For anyone listening in, uh, there's a flashing red light when someone's at the door. So it was uh, Jason coming in. So we let him in, which is good news for everyone listening at home because it's very relevant <laughs> to you all. Um, we have the Blair Line <laughs> Band and Ricky still here playing songs, jamming out. What's come on, like? What's what's new in your world? Like, what's what's coming up? You guys going to put like any full length releases out? Got any singles on the horizon? Can you give us any scoops? Yeah. So this next song. Um, is off an EP that we're recording at the moment. Yep. It'll be like six or seven songs. And um, we started it in the studio and we're continuing it at my mum's place. Yep. In um, my old room. And we're going to do a mix of studio and thing and, and home recording and see how that goes. What's your relationship like with the person that's recording this music for you? Or are you guys recording it yourselves? Um, we're recording it ourselves. Okay. Much, yeah. Uh, Colby Robertson, who normally drums, tonight we got Harry Freeman. But Colby Robertson um, records out of Ghost Note Studios normally. So yep. he's pretty comfortable doing it there with us. Great. Where's Ghost Note? Where's the Ghost Note Studios? Uh, that's in Adelaide, CBD. Gunson Street. Gunson Street. Mm-hmm. Yep, Gunson Street. Very cool. So if you got beef with Colby, go knocking on Gunson Street. Yeah, <laughs> he might be there. Because Colby's at a staff party, right? That was the. Yeah, Colby's actually before. at a staff party. Okay. Well, um, shout out to Colby. <laughs> shout out to all you guys for coming in. What's next? Uh, next is a new song off that um, off that EP. <laughs> And I've been here since quarter to three Can I please get a ride home? I need somewhere to rest my feet Tell me, honey, did you think it ever happened? Tell me, honey, did you think it ever happened to me? Oh, oh. it was like a dream nicest thing that I'd ever seen She wasn't anyone She
shopping in all different kinds of stores. I've been looking at things I can't afford. Tell me, honey, did you think you'd ever realize? Tell me, honey, did you think you'd ever pick up on those trashy lies? Oh. It was like a dream They were the nicest thing That I'd ever seen That I'd ever seen She Wasn't anyone She Wasn't anyone oh, oh, it was like a dream And it was the nicest thing oh, Studio 3, Ricky Elbeck and the Blair Line Band taking us through. We've got about 15 minutes left. And before we head into this last part of the show, as always, a big shout out to our sound team, Liv, Cactus and Dingo for holding things down over in the studio room. Always making things sound crisp and nice for your listening pleasure. And also, if you're looking forward to tuning in to next week live from Studio 3, we'll have Lost Palms who are going to be coming in and playing a set as well, which is going to be great. Um... Hey, Lost Palms are great. I work with Sam and he's a great guy. Excellent. Shout out to Sam. You have to check oh, and I've been, been on a bunch of cruises with the drummer. A bunch of cruises? Like yeah. kind of like on a boat? Or yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, is this something that you do often? Like do you regularly? Country music cruises. Love them. Right. I, I pay to go on them. Can you... T- I, so I, I need to know more about this. No. What, <laughs> what is a country music cruise? Are you just making this up? I don't pay. Uh. <laughs> is this, a, is this, this is just a lie. No, he goes. He just doesn't pay. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, sure. This is a bad joke. Hey, no, you're a, you're a musician. You got to you got to you know have some make bad jokes. You got to you got to make bad jokes. Absolutely. Well, this is a good place to do it. You are listening to 3D Radio. We haven't heard an awful lot from Jess, who's the only other person here who has a microphone. Yeah. So I want to see Ricky ask a question of Jason before. If you could ask Jess a question, Ricky, what would you what would you hit her with? Um. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or maybe. <laughs> uh, what's uh, tell us about the Jess Johns band? Oh, uh, Jess Johns band. <laughs> well, Ricky, you're the hotline. In it. You'd know the hotline. You'd know Ricky. You're in it. Also, you George. You're also in it. And also, you Harry back there. You're also in it. Sorry, Kaylin, and sorry, Tom. Maybe you can make guest appearances. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's a fun time. We've got a gig on Saturday at the Grace. Mm. Very cool. How long? All right. Well, maybe I'll, I'll ask just a question. How many bands collectively <laughs> do you think all of all of the musicians of this band, if you were to spread it out across all mm-hmm. of the bands that you're in, yeah, how many? What kind of number do you reckon it would be? That Bef- between all of the members and yeah. all of their collective bands, yeah. what kind of number are we looking at? Because I feel like it's a really high number. Yeah. I mean, there's a few. I mean, another band with George, uh, five. I I'm in six. Wow. You're in. Okay. <laughs> wow, just, 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 just one just in one. <laughs> Gee uh, whiz. <laughs> Harry, you're in like 50? I don't know. That's embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a classic drummer thing. Drummers yeah, always drummers, have many, many good. bands. He's in as many. Tom, you're also in a lot. Cool, cool. I'm so going to say between 100 and 200. <laughs> Excellent. So you, if you haven't checked them out at some stage, you, know, so you obviously haven't been to a 50,000. <laughs> <laughs> in one of those bands. <laughs> cool, cool. 
It's kind of like the six degrees of Kevin Bacon thing, where it's yeah, just like within like the one. music scene, there's just <laughs> only one degree in mm. all of these bands, which is great. <laughs> uh, go out and see some gigs if you are listening in at some stage. Thanks for coming in and playing some songs for us, guys. We have currently about about twelve minutes left, so Sweet. we're, we're going to quickly play two songs. Excellent. <laughs> we don't play this song a lot. <coughs> uneven. coming in on short notice as well this was a beautiful last minute ring in and it's couldn't have gone better love having you guys in here thanks for having us um before this is gonna be the last time on the spot you have a gig at the grace emily let us know what's happening at the grace emily this saturday oh yeah we do have a gig at the grace emily um it's not really the blair line band it's sure. whoever rocks up all right but it is jess john but it is the jess john's band and susan flashman and susan flashman and the high beamers high beamers are playing Sorry. Oh, they're not Take playing. Back. <laughs> no high that. beamers. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. Well, this is going to be the last song. Thank you so much for coming in. Unless you've got two songs, we do have about eight minutes. So it's, uh, like it's, it's a flexible thing. Yeah, we got a little bit of Midnight Spaghetti. All right. Oh. Yeah. We should play some Midnight Spaghetti. Yeah, we yeah. should play some Midnight Spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. Midnight Spaghetti. Midnight. <laughs> sure. Well, whatever you're doing, I'll leave it up to you. I'll say All goodbye right. and uh, let you take yeah. it away. Bye. Thanks for having us, 3D Radio and Isaac. No worries. <laughs> Yo. Three, four.
You like dim lights and sipping red wine. You like to have a really cool time. And you love your pasta and kicking up your feet. Midnight spaghetti on Grand Food Street. Well, Penny ain't great. Don't mention tortellini. And Nucky's just potato. I'll choke on fettuccine. If you're craving the feel of an iconic food, there's only one place that I'm taking. If you like pasta and sipping red wine And you like to have a really cool time And you love your pasta and kicking up your feet Midnight spaghetti on Grenfell Street Midnight spaghetti on Grenfell Street Midnight spaghetti on Grenfell Street. Midnight spaghetti on Grenfell
Kiwi, Wibble, 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 Wibble